The Untold Story of Mother Teresa's Calling, A Mission of Mercy. Welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. Born on August 26, 1910, in Skopje, Albania, now North Macedonia, Agnes Gonja Boyju would grow up to become one of the most beloved and admired figures of the 20th century, Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Raised in a devout Catholic family, she learned early on from her parents the importance of faith, service, and charity. Her mother often told her, My child, never eat a single mouthful unless you are sharing it with others. These words planted a seed of compassion in young Agnes, fostering a deep desire to help those in need. By the time she was 18, Agnes felt called to religious life and joined the Institute of the Blessed Virgin Mary in Dublin, Ireland, where she took the name Sister Mary Teresa after St. Therese of Lisieux, the Little Flower. In 1929, Sister Teresa was sent to India, where she spent almost two decades teaching at a school in Calcutta. Her life seemed settled and she was content, but everything changed on September 10, 1946. On a train ride from Calcutta to Darjeeling, she experienced what she described as a call within a call. Jesus spoke to her, expressing his sorrow over the world's neglect of the poor and asking her to be his vessel of love and mercy. He said to her, Come, be my light, I cannot go alone. Moved deeply by this spiritual encounter, she knew her mission had expanded beyond the convent walls. Mother Teresa left the safety of her teaching role and plunged into the heart of the slums of Calcutta. She founded the Missionaries of Charity in 1950, a religious congregation devoted to serving the poorest of the poor. Her work began with the dying, the destitute, and the homeless, those whom society had cast aside as unwanted and unloved. To her, they were Christ in disguise. With nothing but faith and love, she began to offer dignity and care to those who had none, saying, I see God in every human being. When I wash the leper's wounds, I feel I am nursing the Lord himself. Is it not a beautiful experience? Her mission quickly spread, and soon the world began to take notice of this humble woman in a simple white sari with blue trim, laboring tirelessly in the streets. By the 1960s, her work had reached beyond India to Africa, Latin America, and Europe, extending even into communist nations. When asked how she accomplished so much, her reply was always simple. I am a little pencil in the hand of a writing God who is sending a love letter to the world. Despite her growing fame, she remained steadfast in humility and prayer, drawing all her strength from her faith. One of her most memorable public moments came in 1979 when she received the Nobel Peace Prize. During her acceptance speech, she boldly proclaimed, The greatest destroyer of peace today is the cry of the innocent unborn child. If a mother can kill her own child in her womb, what is left for you and me to kill each other? Her unwavering defense of life, from conception to natural death, set her apart not just as a champion for the poor but also as a voice for the most vulnerable, no matter the cost. Yet Mother Teresa was not without her struggles. For much of her life, she experienced what is called the dark night of the soul, a period of spiritual desolation where she felt distant from God. Despite this inner torment, she continued to love and serve without reservation, never letting her personal suffering diminish her work. Her perseverance in the face of such trials revealed the depth of her character and the sincerity of her faith. She once said, God has not called me to be successful, he has called me to be faithful. It was this quiet faithfulness that enabled her to become the living embodiment of Christ's mercy in a broken world. Mother Teresa died on September 5, 1997, but her legacy lives on. By the time of her death, her missionaries of charity had grown to over 4,000 sisters, serving in 123 countries around the globe. She was canonized as a saint by Pope Francis in 2016, and today she remains a powerful symbol of love in action. Her life is a reminder that the smallest acts of kindness, when done with great love, can change the world. Mother Teresa's words, Not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love, continue to inspire millions to see Christ in the suffering, to love the unloved, and to bring light into the darkest corners of the earth. Thanks for watching. 
please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.